Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to making the stir fry egg plant with the basil. First, we going to prep our vegetable. Okay, so I have the Thai basil will already be pepped. I use one and a half cup Thai basil. Okay, it just already pepped. And then next, I have the eggplant. Today, I have the purple eggplant. Okay, so I just already clean. Make sure clean them first. Okay, and I just going to cut them to the bite size. Okay, and the reason why the I cut the um. The loud side like this because I want the skin to still cover all the eggplant meat. Okay, so I cut the eggplant into the bite side, and I choosing cut the eggplant to the loud side like this because I want the I still want the skin to cover all the eggplant meat. You can cut half or whatever way that you like, but this is the uh, I prefer this way. Is um uh, it help a lot with the meat? It tastes better and everything cover. Okay, so I going to soak the egg pan in the salt water. I have the I put the four cup of water and then I put the uh, two teaspoon of salt. Okay, just soak them so the egg pan is not turning brown. Okay, so I, I use three small egg pan. They total one pound. Okay, now I done cutting my egg pan. Okay, soak in the salt water so they not. Turn the color bow. Okay, next I going to pep the sweet pepper. Next I going to cut the four sweet pepper. Okay, I just gonna cut them to the stip. Same. I just like to cut in this way. It just help you with the texture and um, um, just help you with the texture and also the color. Okay, for the Thai egg pan in Thailand, um, a lot of house, a lot of. Okay, can I do one? Yeah. Okay, for the Thai egg pan, the stir fry recipe is very easy to make in Thailand. So for the family, for the in Thailand, it sometimes it's easy dinner for us, and also it they very cheap and also they easy to grow in Thailand. So sometimes they have it already in the house, always always easy to grow. So we always have a Thai egg pan stir fry. Now we done cutting our vegetable. Next, I going to pile the chili and garlic. I use six cup the garlic. I love garlic, so I use six cup the garlic, and I use the three Thai chili. Okay, three of them, three Thai chili. Actually, I really even want to put more, but this chili kind of a little bit spicy. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pile them to open up all the flavor from the chili and garlic. But um, you don't have to pile them into them really small. Just open up everything. Okay, but be careful. The chili only like to jump into your eye. <laughs> but sometimes I just still have to look at them. But just be careful. Okay, now chili and garlic done. All right, just look like this. Okay, and now we can move on to the next step. We're going to make our sauce, our stir fry sauce. So I'm gonna use the one tablespoon the seasoning soy sauce. Just one tablespoon. Okay, and next I'm gonna use one tablespoon fish sauce. Okay. If you don't like the fish sauce, you can substitute to salt. Okay, but for Thai food, it already um, umami flavors. We always use a little bit of fish sauce on the ingredient on the stir fry. Okay, next, uh, two tablespoon the oil sauce. Two tablespoon, one and two, and I going to uh, balance all this salt in it with the one teaspoon sugar. Gonna use one teaspoon sugar. Okay, one sugar, one teaspoon sugar going, and I going to use the two tablespoon um, just the water to thin it up everything a little bit. Okay. Okay, and give everything a good mix. Make sure all the sugar dissolved. And we still have one more seasoning that we're going to add into, but I'm not gonna add to the salt. I like to um, stir fry, making all the flavors coming first. So we're gonna use them when we stir fry. 
Okay, now we're done prepping everything. Now I'm just going to uh, remove the water from the eggplant, the salt water that we just soaked earlier. So just drain them out. Make sure remove all the water. Make sure remove all the extra water. Okay. okay, I want to make sure that I kind of remove the most water that I can. So I'm just gonna use the paper towel to just kind of dry them dry the extra water out from the egg pan a little bit because the next step we're going to deep fry them so just want to make sure remove um try to remove the muscle water that you can okay when i pep everything i have the oil ready for deep fry i'm just going to check okay now the a lot of bubble from the chopsticks so that means that my oil is already hot i'm just gonna turn up the heat a little bit all right and start to deep fry Okay, it's gonna pop a little bit, but it should be okay. Uh, oh, 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 I dropped the egg pan. That's why uh, make sure to remove the, remove all the extra water. When you put everything already together, it should be okay, but I dropped one piece of the egg pan here. Okay, we're going to deep fry our egg pan for three minutes. Okay, we're going to deep fry the egg pan about three minutes. We deep fry the egg pan first, so because the you want the texture is to be a little bit crisp. If you just going to stir fry the egg pan, by the way, sometimes a little bit mochi. So we just have to. It is just a this way like we usually do in Thailand. So okay, after we let them fry for three minutes, the egg pan start already cooking changing some color so now I'm going to uh, put inside the same corner but with the paper towel okay and also egg pan is still gonna be very hot so they're still gonna be cooking a little bit more on the because they're still very hot so the heat it will cook them more so we have to remove them okay Okay, now I'm changing the pan to the wok, but if you want to use the same pan, you can, but you just have to remove the oil. So this way, it's kind of like a little bit easier for me. I'm just going to add about uh, two tablespoons, the cooking oil. Okay, so cooking oil go in, okay, and I'm going to add the chili garlic that we just uh, piled earlier. Okay, now I'm going to add the chili and garlic that we just piled. I love how the garlic. Okay, and gonna add them all. Okay. Okay, and now we're just gonna cook the chili and garlic until the turn to smell really, really good. Okay. Okay, now the chili and garlic already change the color and give you um changing smell and give you a really really good smell now I'm going to add the cow pork okay I use one pound the cow pork okay all right in the cow meat for the stir fry egg pan this cow meat is a uh, be a really 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 popular and famous in Thailand that we always usually doing cooking with the Thai egg pan uh, I mean egg pan so okay I'm just going to cook uh, the cow pork until the cow pork uh, turn color to be a cook and then you can add the sauce. I add about two tablespoons the water into the pasta and motor <laughs> and, and I gonna add in all the water into the it, pork. it will help the pork cooking uh, better and I it, Thai people already think more favored inside the pasta and motor like you have to use them so okay so Still high heat and continue cook your cow pork. Okay, now when your cow pork is halfway done, uh, I'm going to add the soybean paste. Okay. This is a Thai soybean paste. You can use any soybean paste that you have in the house. Okay, I'm going to use two tablespoons. I didn't like to put the soybean paste mix into the sauce because um, I like to cook them the favorite food inside the I want to cook them first with the meat if the heat and the soybean paste favorite is always better it's this way okay so I'm just gonna cook the soybean paste and the cow pork 
Okay, and now after you keep the soybean paste cooked with the cow pot for a minute, now you can add the, all the salt that we mixed earlier. Okay, see so all the salt that we mixed, still all the high heat all the time. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. And then just keep them stir another minute. Let the sauce and the gal pork mix well together. Let's cook well together. Oh my goodness, the chili and garlic got me. <laughs> the whole house, the whole house smell like a chili and garlic and all steam. Okay, and now our gal pork is done cooking 100%, and you can see all the smoke. Oh, this is all the favorites coming out from the wok right now. And next, we're going to add our the sweet pepper. Okay. Mm. You can see the color start changing the color. It start looking a lot better. Okay, and soon as we add the sweet pepper, we're gonna add the, our egg pan back into the wok. Okay, the egg pan going. Okay, and now give them the stir. Make sure all the salt is all covered. Okay, and now when we mix the uh, egg pan and everything already together, we're going to add uh, our last ingredient is a uh, Thai basil, Thai sweet basil. Okay, one and a half. I use one and a half cup. Okay, I use a lot because <laughs> I have a lot in my backyard. So it's one and a half cup the Thai basil going, and then to mix the egg pan. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, this is a lot, it's hard for me to fit, but I try. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, now I'm gonna turn off the heat. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Oh, don't forget to tie your food. <laughs> okay, now my favorite part the, we done stir fry our eggplant. I'm just gonna give them the uh, quick taste. Here, look, I'm gonna get everything. Don't forget the paper. Oh, and of course, for it better with the jasmine rice. I cook jasmine rice. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Smell good, but it might be hot right now, but I can wait. <laughs> mm. Basil. It basil always changing all the favorite make it so good and the egg pan. It cook good because we fry them first so they not get all too mushy. Hmm. It's good. You're gonna have to try this. Really quick and easy stir fry for your weekday and so good. Please try this recipe just and let me know if you like this or not. And thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, if you like the recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you. Mommy, you done? Yeah, mommy done. Daddy, you done? Yeah, daddy is done. Hey! Hey! Wait, hey, Charlie. Wait, hey, my auntie. Wait, wait, it is smell good. It's, no, take it. Wait, wait, this smell good. You want to smell it? This way, daddy? Yeah. She daddy. wants a bite, it's maybe. Sweet. No, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I like spicy better. You like spicy? No. You might. Soon, you might like spicy. But it smells good, right? You tell mommy it smells good, remember? It's for daddy. It's for daddy and mommy, it's for everyone. This for me? For you too? You want it? No. No. It's for me. You want candy? You want rice? Yum, 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 yum,